Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek. and Today we're going to be going over how to restore True Tone on the iPhone 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max series using the F210 programmer. Let's get into the video. Here we have an iPhone 16 Pro that needs a screen replacement. And after replacing the screen, we have no true tone functionality. The brightness isn't prompted to change like it does on the original screen. As you can see when we hold up a light, and it doesn't adjust the brightness at all. We have to manually adjust it. When we go into the settings and look at the parts and service, we get a display that is unknown. So let's fix that. Let's turn off the device, disconnect the display. We're going to get out our new F210 uh, module for the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. But when we plug in the original screen and try to read it, nothing happens. This means that we need to update the software on the F210. So let's connect it to a computer and go here to this website. We'll go to the downloads and we'll download the DLZN tool setup for the uh, 1.68. We'll install this. We'll run anyway. Bringing it up to the latest version, we'll go through the install process. And then we need to update it with that latest version of software. We can then connect it to make sure it's working properly. Now let's connect the original display and hit read. And you can see that when we click read, it actually reads the data. Like it should. Let's connect the new screen and hit write. And you'll see that it'll successfully write the exact code to the new screen. Now we can plug it in for testing. Now let's turn it on. And with the flashlight test again, you'll see that this time, when we hold the flashlight up to the screen, it'll automatically start to adjust the brightness for True Tone. Just showing you again that we've finally restored True Tone on the iPhone 16. Pro 16 Pro Max series. And when we go into the settings, we look at the parts and services tab. It recognizes the display now. We do need to restart and finish the repair. The phone will enter diagnostic mode and restart. At this point, you can enter diagnostics mode and finish the repair. However, it is important to note that this method of writing the screen data is currently only available for the Samsung screens on the iPhone 16 series and will not work for the LG screens. All right, so there you go. That's how to restore it. 
Hopefully in the future this will work for all of the different types of displays and not just the Samsung one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's something that you'd like to see in a future video, let me know as well. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.